on Saturday, we are going to be selling an incredible collection of nautical paintings from several different families here in Maine. This one here is by W.P. Stubbs. He was an itinerant marine painter who painted in Maine and Massachusetts and did a lot of custom portraits of ships. In the early days, they didn't have the photographs of the ships, so the insurance companies that were insuring the William Johnson said, I want a painting of that picture of that ship so we know exactly what we're insuring. So it was really, in the early days, uh, an image for the insurance company and also sometimes the owners that contributed the money to build the ship or the sea captain, a wealthy sea captain, he wanted a picture of his boat that he was r running. Uh, and so it's, um, that's what, this is a painting of the William Johnson by uh, William P. Stubbs. And this should bring somewhere between six and $9,000. It's a very large size of him, four masted schooner um, and a nice image of it. This is an oil on canvas by uh, S.F.M. Badger. He painted in New England uh, and out of Massachusetts and was known for painting ship paintings exclusively. I mean, they've got the captain that painted that that, that, did the, that was the master. How many tons it was, the depth, the size, everything about it. Schooner Addison E. Ballard. This was in Stormy Sea. So this is really more of a um, uh, nautical painting with a ship rather than just a portrait like the Stubbs was. This one here is the uh, steam sail ship Newport and was painted by uh, Antonio Jacobson. And he was out of Palisades uh, Northwest in uh, Hoboken, New Jersey. And he has a very sharp, crisp line to his paintings. You see these very beautiful hard edges Look at the water, it almost, you can, it's so translucent. You can see the waves crashing against the side of the boat. Um, this painting here should bring somewhere between six and 8,000 also. This is by a very famous painter, English nautical painter by the name of Samuel Walters. He's a, one of the top uh, painters of what they call the Liverpool School of, of Ship Marine Painters. This comes out of the home in Bangor, the in Bangor. And this is the Ella Norton, is the name of the boat. Look at that great American flag on the back. And it's in a, uh, what they call a uh, ribbed cove go leaf match corner frame because it has the leaves in the corner. And this one should bring around 25 to 35,000. He's a very, very rare artist to find. Uh, this is an oil on panel. Uh, by um, Antonio Jacobson of Hoboken, New Jersey. You have the boat coming towards you with the captain at the front of the boat. This is a, a view of the boat going away from you, and that's another view of the same boat. A lot of times they would do multiple views of the same boat, but what makes this really rare is it has this uh, tugboat, the New York, in the foreground. He was painting uh, right around the turn of the century, and this was not painted like a ship portrait. This is really a ship in action. Beautiful condition, but that's an exceptional uh, Jacobson. That should bring somewhere between oh, 10 and 20,000 all day long. That's a very rare and fabulous image. This is an oil on panel of the ship Monroe uh, by Antonio Jacobson. Monster size. Uh, this is the biggest Jacobson we've ever sold of the of the uh, cruising uh, ship, the Monroe. Uh, again, signed in the corner, Antonio Jacobson, West Hoboken, New Jersey. That's where he was out of. And this is a monumental image of a cruise ship by him, the Monroe. Again, with a lot of people on deck. It might have even been a special occasion with that many men and women on the on the front deck there. Beautiful condition. It's uh, oil on panel. And uh, he did, he painted on canvas and panel. But a lot of times he did oil on panel because he couldn't afford the canvas. And this picture here should bring somewhere between 15 and 25,000. He was an exceptionally good marine painter. Exceptionally good. All of his lines and rigging are always very correct. His water is sensational. You can almost feel the, the water uh, going against the boat. But a wonderful painter. And uh, 
one of the top collected painters in the marine world, actually, is Jackson. 